One minute, where's your driver? Ah, he's getting ready. Getting ready? Oh, blimey, it's a two hours journey, what? mate. Got to take precautions in this freezing weather. Cool, we had a right basin fall yesterday, right out in the perishing country. Oh, here he is now. <laughs> Lord almighty. What you made up for, Eskimo Nell? <laughs> I say, what you made up for, Eskimo Nell? What you made up for? Call here, call here, what'd you say? Well, well take them earmuffs off. You can't drive a bus with earmuffs on. You can't hear, you can't drive, can you? You must be joking, mate. I'll wear what I like. Two hours there, two hours back in that freezing countryside. I'm telling you something, that Gibber Hill run is the worst run in the depot. I know. That's why I put you two on it. <laughs> well, how long we're going to stay on it, then? So I can find a worse one. <laughs> a worse one? You must be joking. It's not a worse one. I tell you what, that's the worst run there is. It's, it's potholes that big, I'm telling you. It, 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 yeah, you want to come out here and try it? All right, I will. I'll come out this afternoon. I could do with a drop of fresh air. Help to blow me cobwebs away. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? I thought it was your moustache. <laughs> Puppy. Getting that bus out of it. I've got other buses besides yours to worry about, you know. Come on, Chalky, get out of it. All right, and sir, take it away. Well, give us a few minutes, will you? The family's gonna said they're going to catch this bus. God knows where they got to. What's your family want to get on this one for? Well, they're going to visit Old Maud, you see. She lives at Ickley Green. It's cheaper by a bus than it is by a train, isn't Look, it? Look, mate, old Hitler will be back any minute. We've got to go. Yeah, well, but don't worry. Here they are, here they are, here they are. Come on, of course, sir. Where are you laughing? We nearly got the set waiting for you. It was Ollie's fault. She couldn't find her travelling pills. And when she found her travelling pills, she couldn't find her chillblain ointment. Well, it seems we're all set for a very happy day. Now, Arthur, you know Ollie always gets car sick when she takes a long bus ride. Well, it's all right. We've got plenty of those little bags. Oh, do you keep them under the seat? Like they do in the aeroplanes? No, I have to keep me loose changing. Here I'll have, have five bobs worth on me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is what? it a very bumpy journey? Yeah. <laughs> Two hours, like that, all the way. <laughs> Get on. Oh, Stan, don't take any notice of him, love. Of course, in the old days, it was all right, you see. I used to sit her on my lap oh and let her look out of the window go. at the little moo cows and the little piggy wigs. And she was only 17. Yes. <laughs> but I was so rude. I wasn't 17, I was only seven. He was referring to your weight. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, for God's sake, get aboard, otherwise it'll be out of the air, will you? Now, keep moving, then. Here, do you want returns? I don't know, mate. Well, you're coming back, aren't you? Judging by the look of Ollie's face, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> oh, what a turn out, please. Yeah, okay, 1935. Right, we'll wait for you. Right. Oh, no, we won't. We got the inspector on board. Oh, blimey, yeah. You better see you're on time then. All right, love. Okay, go on. Right, I'll give you luck to Mold. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Blowing, what is that perishing bus? We've been waiting here over half an hour. Are you sure it'll be Stan's bus? Well, if it's half an hour late, it's bound to be his. <laughs> what a day we've had. Oh, stop moaning. We had a lovely day. Look at that lovely lunch Aunt Maud gave us. Nobody cooks a rabbit pie like my sister Maud. For that, we must all be truly thankful. <laughs> my toes are frozen. Oh, stop moaning. 
Well, it's so cold, Arthur, and with this fog, every time I take a breath, my throat feels as though it's on fire. Well, if your throat's on fire and your toes are frozen, shove your feet in your mouth. <laughs> She used to do that when she was little. She used to lie on the rug with nothing on, with her little feet in her mouth. Do you mind? Not after that rabbit stew. <laughs> the were always damp, I suppose. That's how she got chill blinds. You must have given them to yourself, love. Here. Is that Stan's bus? Aye. Come on. Come on. Here, wipe something, boy. Said when I saw you, I must give you some special kisses. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, yeah, no, now, love, look, did you put that vest I bought you, the string one, for Christmas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it on? Yeah, yeah, You yes, sure yes. got it on? Yes, yes. Well, I'll let your mother have a little look. Look, you don't undo me because she's gone. Mind. Because I just want. Oh, Stan, you naughty boy, you're lying to your mum. Don't do it. In front of him, I feel a fool. Well, you should have got it to find it. Olive's wearing it. Hey? <laughs> Well, it would never fit her. It was a bit tricky getting it on. <laughs> String vesties and kisses from Aunt Maud. You're supposed to be running a bus, but I'm not playing happy families. Come on, get in that cab out of it. Oh, all right, all right. We'll try and make up for lost time, eh? All right. Oh, don't talk soppy. He's been driving through thick fog. Ah, uh, that was only over the hill there. I was a driver. I used to drive this route many a time. It'll be a clear run from now on. I mean, what a journey. We've been going half an hour. He hasn't got out of bottom gear yet. <laughs> oh, 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 what's happened? Have we stopped? I hope so. The driver's got out. Dear, is anything wrong, Inspector? No, it's perfectly all right, madam. It's just a routine stop. Our drivers are very highly trained. They know this route like the back of their hands. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm lost. <laughs> what do you mean, lost? I where I've been, I can't see where I'm going. No, that's no good. We'll have to wait till it lifts this fog. Don't talk wet. Someone can walk in front of the bus with a lighted torch, can't they? The, room, the, the road's probably clearer further on. Yeah, Arthur's quite right. That's the inspector's job. Oh, is it? No, he can't do that. No, I can't do that. That's an extremely dangerous thing to do. A couple of years ago, one of the inspectors got run over doing it. Did he? Well, on second thoughts, it wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> Don't talk ridiculous. With my black coat on, you'd never see me in front of there. Well, I tell you what, you're wearing a white shirt. How do you feel about walking in front of the bus with his shirt tail dangling out? <laughs> you puppy, you. You know that's a dangerous thing to do. It can only be done by somebody wearing a special light-coloured garment. Hey, Olive, you're wearing a light coat. <laughs> the bus might bump into me. Well, we've got a good maintenance department, darling. They can knock out any bump. <laughs> Boy, you know, find it a bit of a job with you. <laughs> no, no, nobody's going to walk in front of the bus. Here, there's a news flash on the radio. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yes. Turn it up, oh, let's hear it. Let's right, hear what's going to say. It's causing fog now blanketing the home counties. Won't lift until tomorrow morning. Oh, so you're advised oh, to pull off the road and just stay where you are. But you can stay with us right through till two with all the top sounds, you lucky people. Oh, oh I'm chill, blood. Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the great theme song from Frankenstein meets the Ape Woman. Hey, Arthur, they're going to play your tune. <laughs> <laughs> Stan, is it so thick? Well, Can't you see to drive? Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, it's worse than ever. Thick? Oh. It's so thick you can show a button on it. Oh. No! Well, I'm afraid we'll be at the tomorrow. It'll be the first time we haven't got back to our bed for a night. Oh, I suppose we must look on the bright side. <laughs> I 
I mean, look at them all. It's like spending the night in the Chamber of Horrors. <laughs> I wish we could cart him away and have him melted down. <laughs> then what do you make this time? Cool, bro, it's nearly one o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's thicker than ever, mate. Oh. Here, does Arthur always go to sleep holding a newspaper like that? <laughs> but what would you do if you was married to Olive? <laughs> I'm going to bed with the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> yeah, why does Olive keep with her glasses on? Cos when she wakes up in the morning, she can't find them. <laughs> Blimey, I'm starving hungry. You got anything to eat? Nah, I bet old Blackie has in that tin box. That's why he's touching it like that. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, I've got a few peanuts here. So I got a bit mixed up with me change. You fancy one? <laughs> oh, but they're covered in fluff. No, all right. <laughs> here. What? Here, Jack. I bet you, Tanner. You can't get one of them peanuts in his mouth. <laughs> right, mate, you're on. Go on. Oh, blimey, it's a moving target. All right, then. All right, then. A bob if you get one in his ear, off. Two bob if you get it up his nose. <laughs> don't, be, don't be daft, mate. His moustache will get in the way. Need an armour-piercing bullet to get through that up. <laughs> hey, look, his gob's wide open. Get right, right between his tonsils, go on. No, nah, he might swallow it and choke to death. Only if we're lucky. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's a tanner. That's, that's a tanner. 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 Underarm lob. Oops. No, yeah. no, man. Tanner, you're in a, you're in a tanner. <laughs> right, I'll give him a little salvo. Yeah. One more. <laughs> yeah. Once it goes door. <laughs> I, I swallowed a tooth. <laughs> Take them out and find out. <laughs> no, they're all there, aren't they? Oh, that's funny. Oh, I could have sworn I had something to hold in my mouth. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Arthur, do you want to snuggle up to me? <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to finish a rather interesting article I was reading on the mating habits of pygmies. Good, you might learn something. <laughs> oh, I dropped a stitch. Hello, my old darling, you all right, love? Yes, love me back hurts a bit. Mm. Here, I'm making a jumper for Olive. Are you? Yeah. Love you never get that round her waist. Oh, this is only the sleeve. <laughs> Arthur. Certainly not. Mum. No, you'll have to wait. <laughs> Mum! Oh, wait a minute, love. Here. What? Are there any bushes outside? Bushes? What do you want bushes oh, for? Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> oh, is it her? Oh, yes, yes. Any... Yeah, there's plenty there. Well, yes, there are some. Outside, but you'll have to get off the bus. Oh, right. Are you sure there are bushes outside, Stan? What do you want bushes for? You get outside here, you'll disappear. In fact, you'll find it a bit of a job finding your way back to the bus. Oh, Arthur, did you hear that? Stan says I might not be able to find my way back to the bus. Really? <laughs> yes, she might fall in a big hole or down in a pond. You're always trying to raise my hopes. Aren't you? <laughs> well, she's only trying to cheer you up. <laughs> Stan, here, love, I tell you what, look, I've got some wool here. Take the end of that and hang on to it and that'll guide you back to the bus. <laughs> oh, there you are. Off you go. There you go, love. Gents to the right, ladies to the left. <laughs> Oh, blimey. She's in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> like deep sea fishing, isn't it? Like playing out a shark. Oh, like Moby Dick. <laughs> ah, it stopped. She must have found a bush. <laughs> Perhaps the bush wasn't big enough. <laughs> hey, I saw a film about a fisherman once. He had to hold onto the line for nine hours. Well, did he really? Yeah. Well, if Olive's had a nick to go, boy, it could happen to her. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> ah. Ah, What's that... she doing? What's she doing? She must be hopping from bush to bush. <laughs> Ow! Stopped, did it? Stopped. I think she's settled. Get <laughs> a fair Jack. Could be here for a long time, mate. <sighs> oh! Is that Olive? <laughs> No, that was Olive. Oh, here, where is she? Get her! Oh, Stand it, Mark! Get her in! Pull her in! Pull her 
Oh, we'll pull her in. Now come on, darling. That's it. Oh, dear, oh, Lord. Don't worry, we've got her in. We've got her in. Oh, God, where's Olive? Well, your guess is as good as mine, isn't it? Hang on, I'll go and find... Olive! and thought he was a farmer's horse. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm Mr. B, here's your wolf. Oh, what do you know? She must have had this round at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's a Jersey cow, most probably knitting herself a pullover. <laughs> Gibbering jackass. <laughs> we can well do without your moronic jokes, Butler. Hey, don't you talk to my son like that. What have you done about it? He's been driving in the fog. What have you done? Come 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 work I, I don't care. Go and do something. Well, what can I do? Well, you're a great bean pole. There must be plenty of phone booths along the road. You'd get out there and phone a depot for a start, oh, couldn't you? I don't know about that. I don't think the other passengers are likely to leave the bus. Oh, yes, what? they will. Oh, God, 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 yes. Very well, then. I will, then. Yes. Cool. Well, go on. Oh, make up your mind. You're going or coming or what you're doing. Go on. Watch it. Uh, I may be gone for some considerable time, ladies and gentlemen. Good. So, uh, <laughs> yes, I'll do that. <laughs> And uh, don't worry, I'll get through all right. I'll get through, don't worry. Don't yeah. worry. Go on in. There he goes, the Luxon and District Bus Company's John Wayne. 100% oh. <laughs> true grit. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't think we shall see him for a bit then. Oh. What's the matter? I've uh, forgotten the telephone number of my office. Oh. It's on my clipboard down there. Oh, there you are. There you are. Thank Thanks. Don't worry, I'll get through to the depot, ladies and gentlemen. Don't hurry back. Oh, well, I think we got rid of him now. Oh, oh, God. What's the matter? Lost your clipboard? No, I, uh, I haven't got a sixpence, actually. Have I? <laughs> Here you are. Everyone on the company. <laughs> I'll get through all right, don't worry, ladies. Yes. Well, shut the door! Oh. Shut the door, Jack. Here, Sam, while he's gone, look at his snap box. I bet he's got some grub in there. Yeah, well, the way he was clasped with it. Yeah. God, blimey, that cheeky son. He's got oh, two packets of crisps. I knew he had a secret vice. Hey, hey, hey. I think those should be distributed equally amongst the passengers. Yes, I'll yes. wake Olive up. No, no, let her sleep. Olive, <laughs> she must have her share. Come on, love, wake up. Wake up, love. There's food. <laughs> what flavour are they, Stan? Uh, I don't know yet. Bacon, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're bacon. No, no. <laughs> Cheese and onion. <laughs> no, I tell a lie. <laughs> they're plain. <laughs> yeah, we'll share them out equally. Yeah. Well, when you do it, you might remember you've had half a packet yourself. <laughs> right, here we are then. Hold your hands up. There we are. Come on. Here. All right. One for you. Yeah. One for you. One for you. One for you. One for you. Hey. One for you. Hey, hey. What? Do you mind telling me why it is I seem to be getting all the small ones? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like, I'll shuffle them up like a pack of cards, you know. If you like. Yeah, well, you might deal me one up the bottom. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah. Here, quick. Get them back. Get them out. 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 I lost me sixpence. <laughs> 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 I walked right into a ditch. Oh, oh. I'm it's some oh. hero. Oh, look at this. Yeah, you better, oh. better take your boots off. <laughs> I've got them off. 
These are me socks. <laughs> what was you doing walking in a ditch with your boots off? I didn't walk in a ditch with your boots off. They came off when I went to get out. You left your boots in the ditch? No, no, I fished them out, all right. I had to leave them outside, they weigh a ton. Oh, I'll go and get them. Stop where you are. Oh, oh, oh God! Find <laughs> <laughs> oh, me funny, you mean? Find me, find me big funny, look at that. Mike, Mike, you're making a very nasty mess of my bus. I'm not having you on like that. You'll have to wash your feet. Oh, don't talk like a burk. Now can I wash my feet? Don't have running water on the bus, you know, look. Well, we do now, mate, here. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Oh, I hate you, butler. And I do hate you, mate. I do. Look at me, look, I'm smothered in mud now. Listen, some people pay a lot of money to be covered in mud. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Blakey, your feet will have a lovely complexion. <laughs> Here, I don't know what you did out there, but the fog's getting thicker. You don't have to tell me, mate. I'll just come from out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry to sell it there. Well, we'll be here till it gets light. Oh, oh no, Stan, no. when will that be, love? Well, good. Oh. Good seven hours yet. Oh. Seven hours? Oh, my good God. Seven <laughs> hours like this, look, without a clean pair of socks on. Well, you don't have to worry, Blakey. We'll get you another pair of socks. Will you? Where? Well, Mum's got seven hours, she'll knit you a pair. <laughs> <laughs> We have arrived at our destination after travelling for 12 hours and 6 minutes at an average speed of half a mile an hour. Local time is 7.32, and on behalf of Captain Stan Butler and his crew, thank you for travelling with us. Oh, God. Hello, Mum. How are you? Oh, you lovely. Go. Back. Here, there's only one good thing about it, Stan. Yeah, what's that, Mum? Look, I finished me jumper. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. Well, I shall not forget this in a hurry. I think it's quite disgusting being charged seven and six each for suffering all night. If you don't shut your face, we'll give you another ticket. Hey, your ticket run out at midnight. Give him one. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, Arthur, don't look at me. Seven hours without sleep, what must I look like? Better than usual. <laughs> Hello, Blakey. <laughs> Oi, you going for a quick paddle, are you? Anyone about? I wouldn't like any of the clippers to see me in this deplorable condition. Well, I don't think your bare feet are going to send the clippers sex mad. <laughs> Door of crap freezing! Here, Stan, yeah. when's the next bus for home and how long do we have to wait? Two hours, Mum. Why? Well, it's Sunday service, isn't it? Oh. Well, I'm not waiting in this freezing cold depot two hours. All right, then, there's only one thing. We get back on the bus, then. Oh, hey, Stan! Get back on the bus! Oh. 